Good afternoon, Amanda here from Nourished. Um, as promised, I'm gonna keep up with the video logs. Um, today we're gonna to continue with the topic of magnesium until we feel like we've uh, informed you enough. There's so much to know about magnesium, but I wanted to continue a little bit further on the topic of transdermal and why we choose what we choose uh, to use in our products. Um, there are so many different types of magnesium and a lot of us are told that we need more magnesium um, by our, our health professionals, but we're not really told much else. So we run out and we grab magnesium. And there are so many different types and a lot of them are not readily available for our body's use. So they're not super absorbable. Um, and then there's the process of digestion, which we lose a lot of our magnesium in that process as well. So um, we are using one of the most bioavailable types of magnesium called magnesium chloride. And transdermally, Obviously, we don't have to do the process of digestion, so we're not losing as much in that process. Um, it's gonna go directly into your bloodstream and into your muscle tissue, giving you a much fuller and faster effect. Um, just on the topic of transdermal use uh, and bioavailability for that matter, sulfate, so magnesium sulfate, which is your Epsom salts, um, those are on, on the chart of bioavailability uh, are one of the least bioavailable. So they're very, they're at the bottom. Um, but anybody that's bathed in Epsom salts knows that they do have an effect on us. So that's just vouching for transdermal use. That's telling us that transdermal is so the way to go because even with the least bioavailable type of magnesiums, we can feel an effect. Uh, whereas you can take magnesium daily because your doctor's told you to and you're still not even sure if it's doing anything for you. Um, so yeah, we are using magnesium chloride, which is one of the most bioavailable types of magnesium and transdermally applying it. So uh, that will tell you right there that you're going to get uh, almost instant relief in some cases. In other cases, it takes a while for your magnesium levels to build until you're actually experiencing like noticeable relief. But for most cases, people notice something within the first uh, use or two. I'm gonna leave it there, guys, because I wanna keep these short. If you have any questions, please post them below because that gives me inspiration for my next video log. Um, and as always, uh, you can reach out to me via email if you have any personal questions as well. Have a fabulous week. I will talk to you soon. Take very good care.